Hi Leo, this is your reading for April 2020 singles. I hope you're doing well. I'm hoping this reading really gives you lots of clarity, information, knowledge, you know, really helps you in your path as well. We're going to have a look and see what is coming through for April. So um, let's begin, but also I do want to mention as well, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be in the description box below. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy. So if you are interested in purchasing any of them, link to my Etsy shop will be down below. This is the Singles Energy Bracelet and they're handmade by me, meditated with, saged and also free international shipping. There's so many different bracelets on there, um, especially for singles as well and if you want to see the reviews to see how other people have seen results with them please do check out the Etsy shop link as well and um, that's where everything is um, so I also have a Patreon and you know a bunch of other stuff if you want to see which cards I use most often on my channel everything is always in the description box below for your convenience um, just so that you know there's this one place where you can find out all the information basically all right so Leo let's have a look and see what's coming through 12 cards Okay, so we've got the Five of Cups here. Now, that being the first card that's really come through is really telling me that you may be sort of upset about something, sad about something that can relate to love, but it can also very much so relate to other things going on in your life. So for some of you, it could be um, being away from friends or family members or even being apart from someone that you feel a strong romantic connection to. For some of you, this can also be sadness in terms of career. Of course, I do want to mention as well that there is the whole situation happening in the world. So I'm not surprised that I'm seeing this sad uh, energy. Oh God, it sounds so awful to say, but I, I hope... I, I don't think this is going to make you feel any better and I'm not trying to compare people's situations to try and make you feel better either but I want you to know that a lot of people are dealing with this kind of energy in April and uh, you're not the only one but at the same time I do want to say fives in tarot mean change right so this sad energy that you're you're faced with is not going to last forever so chin up chin up you got this you got this Leo you got this all right. Um, this is also a time where, I mean, I've done so many April readings and in majority of those April readings for the Zodiacs, what I have seen is that April is shifting the focus to you. It really is. And I'm seeing you being in your own energy for pretty much all of April where it can feel really stressful. It can feel really sort of quite um, burdening. Um, it can feel like, you know, there's just sort of a lot um, in the whole situation, but what I do also see is that things will get better as well. Okay, so there's something that's worrying you and making you quite upset, but this is your time because you've got this, and this time may seem like a complete curse to you, but I assure you there is a small blessing behind it as well. Obviously, you know, it's really sad because a lot of people are suffering with this whole situation and it's so so sad to see people also lose loved ones you know that is something that's happening as well and that's so so sad but what I do see here is that it has a blessing and that blessing is for you to really accept yourself in your own energy to feel strong and confident about yourself the high priestess here is really about aligning yourself with yourself your intuition your beliefs your values and also keeping that third eye open and also your chakras, right? Your chakras, feeling strong and confident within yourself is what I'm seeing in April. And I am seeing that this sad energy is going to change. It's not gonna last forever, but I also feel that you're going to dive a lot into spirituality as well. All right, so four of cups here. Yeah, it just, it, it shows that you just feel, you know, kind of alone um, in a lot of this. And it shows you being sort of far away from people that you, that you love it's, it's just something that I am seeing things that you love as well being far away from it whether that's you know going out to certain places so again it's an energy that I am picking up on this is about you know feeling like you're just not a part of what you want to be or where you want to be sorry okay ten of pentacles but still there is a silver lining remember I did say that things are going to change things are going to get better for some of you that change lies in April, alright, and 
the King of Swords and the King of Wands, I mean, to have those two kings there is, is quite powerful, to say the least. I'm just going to shuffle all of these other cards out. So we've got here the Sun card. We've also got the World card. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. You've got a king, which is just flipped over in the deck. And the last card is the Queen of Pentacles. And you know what? We didn't get the King of Pentacles here. So this is a work in progress, especially for those of you in romantic relationships. We haven't got um, court cards that perfectly match. So, for, for example, we haven't got a king and a, a queen of the same suit. Uh, so, again, you know, that is something we are having to deal with um, in April is that this is sort of being distanced from someone and it's about not being close to them. But almost it's like they're thinking still very much so about you and, and that's something that's really being picked up is that I do pick up someone here romantically that uh, has feelings towards you but it's like the two of you are not necessarily around each other. Now if the two of you live together this po this reading probably isn't for you in that sense um, just because I'm seeing this is for people that are at distance with one another but if you do live together I see things getting stronger and better for you in regards to your connection but you also might get a sort of kind of frustrated with that person at times as well just by being with that person so often in the like literally so often like 24 7 but um, this reading probably isn't for you especially if you are together why because it's a singles reading <laughs> okay sometimes people come to these readings just um, out of curiosity so if you are in a couple and you're in a strong relationship with someone this is not your reading because this is a singles reading so with that being said, um, I really see that you are at distance with this person. That's what I'm seeing and it's really evident here as well because the world card shows structure, it shows routine, it shows you being in your own energy, it shows you doing like what you're doing because so it's also about self-efficiency but it also shows on the flip side that this person here is thinking a lot about you. The sun here shows growth, it shows opportunity, it shows very warm feelings, like tender feelings that this person has towards you, lots of attraction that they also have towards you as well. And the king of wands here shows this person feeling really attra like attracted to you. Physically, they find you very attractive. The king of swords, this person wants to communicate with you. So you can have communication with this person in April, which can actually liven up and make your mood a little bit better and a bit more positive, I feel, also in April. We've also got here the Eight of Pentacles, which shows you working hard, like working really hard at something. This can also be you trying to learn something new or do something new in your own routine, trying to, you know, implement something new. The King of Cups here shows that you're trying to feel as best as you possibly can emotionally. So it definitely shows here that you're trying to feel as, as much stability as you possibly can. And then we've also got the Queen of Pentacles here, which shows a really, really strong energy, which is all about... Absolutely. This this energy is all about you feeling strong and confident and really, really comfortable within yourself. And this energy is so magnetic, it's so attractive, and I think that it is the best place for you to be. Now, in time, I see that there will be, um, you know, this beautiful energy where the two of you can meet and you can actually spend time together in time. Obviously, I don't see that happening in April because this Knight of Pentacles energy is slow and it's also a work in progress. So this month is really about your energy. It's really about securing yourself, learning things, doing things for yourself. You know, it may feel like a curse, but there is a silver lining to this and it is about you really putting yourself first and doing things for yourself, which I think is so, so important. And in doing so, not only are you strengthening your own energy, but it's also making this other person miss you a lot and uh, really also making them fantasize about a future with you, which I think is very interesting indeed, Leo. And that is what I'm picking up. So if you're in a very happy romantic relationship, obviously this is not the reading for you because this is a singles reading. I kind of just found it really funny actually when I was saying that, but um, yeah, uh, <laughs> this is what I'm seeing. So Leo, this is your reading. I really hope it gave you lots of clarity, information, knowledge. I really hope it helps you in your path. I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching this. Um, do comment down below if this reading resonates with you or if you have any comments. Do let me know. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, my bracelets which are on Etsy, all that good stuff if you're interested in any of that and I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching this and definitely also do take care of yourself and yeah stay safe everyone and 
I hope to see you very soon if you choose to click on another one of my videos.